All right, guys, welcome to Thinking Through Code, and we continue with our basic concepts for TK Inter GUI applications. On this video, I'm gonna show you a preliminary video before we get into real geometry management using grid. Uh, we're basically just gonna create a frame and style a frame. This is gonna be very useful because we need something to illustrate how to use geometry management or else there is no clear indication. And this is also uh, really good for you to learn how to uh, already kind of put your foot in the door in learning how to style an application as it is because the method is gonna be used also for other widgets like buttons, labels, and entry widgets. So uh, let's get started. Perfect, so now that we're right into it, um, basically we know exactly what we need to import in order to create a GUI from TK Inter. Uh, we got TK right here, TK Inter STK, and from TK Inter we are we actually imported the module TTK. We also created our, G, our GUI window with a root over here, and we made it so that it is non-resizable. So if we run this application, we see that we simply just have the default size application. I didn't specify a size, so it's giving it its default window size and our application is running, everything's okay, right? So we're gonna create a frame. We're gonna create a main frame that is gonna contain everything inside of our, of our GUI application. So main frame is gonna be equal to, we're gonna use the TTK mod, module, the dot operator, and we're gonna call the, the class that is frame. Okay, so inside of TK Inter TTK, you see that there's a class that is under the name of frame. You click on that, well, actually, write it, and you have the parentheses there. So in this class, when we call it, we just created an object of it all, right? So in order to use it, we need to specify the parent widget. So it's basically TK Inter, when you're going to call a class, you're, you're going to specify w the first thing you usually put as an argument for a class is where is its parent and how i showed you guys that tk inter has parent and child widgets so one is related to the other the first parent uh, for our mainframe is obviously going to be our window right here right so the parent we're going to put root and then after that you can specify the width i'm going to put 400 and the height we're going to make a perfectly square frame okay now if we run this application bam what do we notice oh Something's a little bit off here, right? We still get the same default size that uh, our root has. So now that we packed, we, we pretty much put the, the mainframe inside of it, we should have 400 by 400, but that's not what we're getting here. Um, the reason why is that you did in fact create an object of the frame class, but you didn't place it inside of your, win uh, inside of your window, right? So that's why you need a geometry manager method. And the one that I totally recommend you guys should use, and I'm going to explain it to you guys how to use it on, on this video, is the grid. So mainframe dot grid. And then we're going to close our main window right now. We're going to rerun it. And what do we see? We have our mainframe of 400 by 400, right? So what we did right now is basically it's it's how I explained it on, your, on our previous video. There is geometry managers like grid pack and place grid being the best one by the way because if you have a lot of things that are implied on your on your gui application sometimes i've, I've tried pack and place before and it could be get a little bit of a mix-up grid is the the, the most user-friendly one and the one that i totally recommend and then you have your your frames right which are actually helpful in geometry management but don't forget they're just a widget on their own. It's a widget that can contain other widgets inside of it. So like I said, you create a frame, but you haven't placed it yet. As soon as you place, you run this line of code the, and you call your geometry manager, that's when it truly shows and it is placed on your window. Moving on, I want to show you guys, uh, before we actually get into the grid geometry management method, I want to show you guys how we can uh, style your frames. Uh, this is going to make it so much easier for us to understand because it is actually far more visual. So I'm going to show you guys how to use the styling method. Okay, guys. So when we run our app right now, what do we get? We get a 400 by 400 window. We already know that it's because we have a frame in there and we place the frame there in there to be 400 by 400. That we know. But anyone could have done that by simply just setting the geometry of root like a min size or by calling the geometry method, right? 
So in order for this to be much more illustri- illustrative and really show you guys uh, a visual example, we're going to add a styling element to our frames that we're going to add in here. To do so, it's written in the documentation as well. You need to create a style object. So you call the class that is uh, under the name of style under the TTK module, and then you configure a style by giving it a name and associating it to the class that you're going to use your widget on. So number one, we're going to create the style object. So S is going to be equal to TTK. We're going to call our module dot operator and then style. That's done. And then we can S configure. We're going to give it a name. Um, mine is going to be mainframe because I'm going to use it for the name for the name mainframe T frame because my class is on the frame class. And then for background, I'm going to give it blue. And in order to apply this style, this style, uh, we use the style argument. So style is going to be equal to, we're going to give it the name that we pretty much gave when we created the style configuration. We're going to run it. And there we have it. We have a blue frame finally. Now this is actually showing this isn't the default window, obviously. This shows now that we've done some, some coding inside of it and we actually did input a frame. Now, just to display another purpose, we can have many configurations of the same class. So S configure. So you could have as many configurations as many configurations as you want, right? Like I said, you could have many frames, you could have many buttons, and if you want them to have different specific colors, it really is up to you. You just have to name them differently. So I'm gonna create another one. So main frame to associate it to the class T frame. And then for our background color, I'm going to use a hexadecimal code and I'm going to go into colorhunt.com. And I really advise you guys to go here because this is basically professional uh, professionals that associated these colors that will look good in an, either a website or a GUI application. So. I'm going to go, let's say, for example, I really like this green color. So I'm going to go with this green color. I copy the hexadecimal color and then I can use it here. So we're going to paste it. There we go. And by the way, don't forget the number sign over here. And then by simply calling the second frame, main frame two, which is this configuration, we're not, no longer going to use this one, but this one. And we're going to display that by the fact that we change colors. That's it. It's as simple as that. And this is going to be so much so much easier for us to actually display how the grid works because if we're moving things around in our window but we can't see them because they're all the same color then it just doesn't make sense so this is how you basically style your frame oh and by the way in order to make it raised for example whoop, relief we're gonna put raised if we rerun our application you see this tiny border right here showing us as if it's popping out and it's raised. It's not properly uh, shown weight. And in order to do so, how about we're going to comment out the resizable and then rerun our application. If we make this bigger, there you have it. Your frame is kind of raised a little bit and you can show it a lot better now. And this is basically so many features of the styling application that you can use, right? So that's it. And you can, there's so many guys, you, you can use sunken, you could use solid. It's really up to you and how you wanted it to look. So that's the main frame that we just created and we just styled. And now we reached the end of our video. Uh, by the way, I'm still keeping it a little bit shorter. I don't want to just add grid into this video as well. I want you guys to pretty much focus on just one to two topics max uh, per video. So on this one, it was just going to be frames and styling. We're going to get into the grid. No, don't worry about it. I'm going to teach you about geometry management, but this one was really supposed to just uh, show a little bit more of an illustration that is going to help us out. So as always, guys, if you like this video, don't forget to click on the likes, the subscribe, the notification button. If you do not like it or if you have any criticism from me, feel free to leave a comment, guys. I'm always uh, I'm all ears for you and uh, have a good one.